Why does the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine have issues? Why is it a relationship jungle out there? I take you on my walk today and I'm going to share from Ubud, Bali, why it's so challenging sometimes to be in that harmonic alignment, balance with our masculine, with our feminine. And then of course that expresses itself in our relationships, maybe in a divine union with your twin mirror, your twin flame, your soulmate, or just your kid or your business partner, or anything that could possibly remind you that you are a divine being living on earth and it ain't always pretty it ain't always perfect here and i'm going to give you some tips on how to balance your feminine and masculine energy even when things feel like the jungle of cray cray so we have up we have down we have our feminine our masculine our left right yin yang and ultimately there's only one thing which is oneness we are one with the universe. Nothing is separate. There's just a dance of expansion and contraction, death, birth, rebirth. It's all one thing. And we can't know ourselves until we have that separation experience. Like the first time you saw yourself in a mirror, you're like, what? You know, like a little kid or even like birds, they're always pecking at the mirror and playing. It's like, oh, I have, I have something, that's me. And so we need our mirrors. We need our feminine and masculine mirrors because if we're just in one aspect, then we can't feel, know, and grow from the other side. And so the challenge is, is when we know and grow into who we are on one side say we really tap into our masculine power and we're like running a business and you know this this is like me i stepped into my power from being very disempowered i went over the mud puddle of my life where i was making about five thousand dollars a year as a poor hippie chick even though i had a, a, a phd degree and had gone to top five university and had worked my butt off. I just had some really deep PTSD issues that had not been addressed and some low self-esteem. And so I had this initiation spiritually that called me into my feminine that said, it's time to rise, not just be a feminine goddess and just be blissing out. It's time to go out there and share your message with the world and make a difference. And so I stepped into my power and I completely changed my life and became a YouTuber, had an online business. And the crazy thing about it is I thought it would all just keep going and growing exponentially. And a couple years ago, it's been put on a gentle ride, a gentle, slow feminine ride because I am being called back into really discovering the feminine and becoming a mother and a quick announcement is I am pregnant, age 44, hot and pregnant with number two. My daughter Lisa came almost five years ago. And um, I'm not going to fall off this ravine here. People have died. But just so you know, I am walking on this gorgeous walk that's going to take us into the rice fields. Um, so we can have these like periods of time like I did where I was like, too masculine and then I got way too feminine and they got too masculine and then too feminine but it's like the the pendulum kind of has to find its balance by swinging to the edge and coming back and so we need to forget who we are to find ourselves again we need to come totally into oneness and then completely come back into separation that's why we have these these pauses and we die and we, we leave our bodies and we remember oh we're not that we're light we're love and we come back but we've expanded if you follow any like near-death experience videos or pre-birth videos or you know somebody who's experienced that you will see that there's these consistent patterns where people are not afraid on the other side it's it's love it's light it's expansive and there's this consistent thread of probably truth or stories that people have when they experience pre-birth memories or near-death experiences or between life experiences that there's really nothing to fear and we're here for growth and 
our true self is in the higher dimensions. And when we access the higher teachings, we become almighty. We become angels. We become fearless. We become one. So it can be really humbling to be human and come here and forget. And it's like, why did I do this? Why did I come here? And especially for me, some of my biggest pains have been in relationship of like, I came here to love and be loved. My name, Amanda, means beloved. And for the first 34 years of my life, I suffered so many heartbreaks and single periods and feeling not good enough and not knowing why, like what is wrong with me and why can't I figure this out and going to therapists and like still not figuring it out. So if you are one of those people, it might not mean that you are bad or wrong or that anything is broken about you. You might just be putting multiple lifetimes (laughs) together, healing multiple timelines, taking on a lot this lifetime. You might have a lot of good that's coming in your near future that you just needed to prepare for and deeply root for and make it feel like it counts because now that I'm in union and I have the family that I've desired and I have the dream home and I've had the amazing business and I'm leading retreats and having clients from around the world and having some, you know, little YouTube fame. It's like, wow, you know, I appreciate it after having gone through years and years of struggle and feeling like a loser. And if I lose it all and I have lost parts of it, right? Like the channel pretty much has been slow for the last couple of years. Like that's okay. And you never know, you might lose a relationship or someone you love might die or you might die. And so it's really about embracing the different energies and polarities. And so with our feminine and masculine Our feminine tends to be more chaotic, more watery, more a little, if it's not in balance, or even if it is in balance, it can be a little crazy. It can be like this rushing water. Our feminine can really uh, be a lot to handle handle in a, a human body. I would say, especially in a female body. Some men have a lot of issues being in the body especially if they have a lot of feminine energy. Um, So I know a lot of women, especially now with all the things that are happening on the earth, all the different things that have been dropped from the skies, chemtrails, unknown materials coming from unknown sources and ships. Some of them are good, maybe some of them not so good, but I know a lot of bodies, a lot of female bodies, especially that have issues from PCOS, polycystic ovarian, <clears throat> lumps, cysts, migraines, uh, PMS, mental health issues coming with suicidal uh, thoughts like certain times of the month, um, or even just feeling really uncomfortable in your human body of like not feeling beautiful, feeling like you have to look a certain way. Um, so in, in those cases, one of the best medicines is to of course get out in nature and to connect with the mother, the mother goddess energy of Gaia, to slow down, to breathe it in, to appreciate the immense beauty without falling into the little river. Um, But another piece is just like know that there are phases and life is a phase and life can be really short and it's an opportunity to squeeze the most out of it. And sometimes squeezing the most out of it is resting, nourishing your feminine, building it up, loving yourself when you don't have a lot of success to brag about, loving yourself when your relationship isn't going the way you want, or maybe the relationship has ended and you don't know if you can love again. (laughs) I've been there. Um, So I think we're going through a collective awakening. Our masculine has obviously gotten to a point where It's a little too crazy, too much, especially people living in cities are working all the time, especially with the financial climate. It is crazy hard to live the American dream or whatever country, wherever you are from. It is a crazy time to be in. And we have these completely unrealistic expectations. uh, And we have these unsustainable systems that are making people incredibly 
sick, financially stressed, emotionally stressed, all these things that just are showing that there's this core misalignment. We've gone too masculine. We've let go of our connection to the earth. And that's why I feel like over the next couple of decades, we're going to be moving back into the earth, figuring out ways to plant gardens. I'm thinking of renting a patch of land here and setting up some composting and permaculture and growing our own food. I think that's a really good idea for people to grow their own food. We have our own garden, but there's not quite like enough space to, to feed a family of four. Um, so yeah, I think that that is one way to bring back the feminine and to lower our stress is really getting our hands in the soil and connecting with the earth and having really good quality food. You know, I'm kind of shocked by how many people who are so-called like on the awakening journey are drinking like Pepsi and um, having caffeine all day to stay afloat. And I understand like you're stressed, you have a busy job um, and you're killing yourself. Like, let's be honest, if you're drinking your cabal coca-cola and you're expecting to you know live in the light it's not going to work so at least switched switch to like an organic butter coffee or something um find things that that like are in alignment do your muscle testing find out what works with your body work with your nutritionist um but take out the processed sugars and chemicals i mean just do it for your body do it do it for your kids do not let your kids eat artificial colors um so I digress a little bit, but the divine feminine and the divine masculine come into union when we really allow each one to express themselves, accept themselves, and also know that when they come into union, it can be a bit crazy. It can be really frustrating. Um, it can take some time to align and integrate and that not everything has to align. It's kind of like the um, Venn diagram when there's, you know, there's an overlap but not the two circles don't completely overlap on each other. So your feminine and your masculine might need some space sometimes. You and your partner might need some space. Um, I know my partner and I, we were really like on top of each other. We did business together. We raised a family together. We lived together. We traveled together. You know, all of it, like a lot together. And it's been really beautiful to see him launch his business, grow his retreats, do his own YouTube channel and like let him have his space in that process it opened a whole healing opportunity for me it also is when my channel kind of coincidentally the algorithm might have kind of like blocked or i don't know maybe y'all just wanted him <laughs> i don't think so because i had the channel many many years before jack came in and um he's not been on all the videos so um but yeah i really feel like it's so important to have our own pillars and then also to come together in that temple of the twin flames um, so if you're feeling frustrated, like, how do I balance my feminine and masculine energy? Feminine probably needs to slow down more, connect more into nature. Masculine, you probably need to, like, be open to have that feminine really nourish and support you and feed you. So eat those earth foods, let her serve you. But if you don't let her serve herself first, that's not going to work. And then masculine, if you can give yourself the permission slip to do what you love, to step into your soul purpose, to let your feminine intuition, your, your feminine oracle give you more support on like what your purpose is, what you need to be doing, and then you know how to serve her. You are a major manifester and an action taker. So if, if your masculine hasn't been taking enough action, oftentimes it's because he's burnt out, he's not getting enough feminine food, and also he's not clear on what his purpose is. So step into that purpose, be in the power, um, get support from other masculines. So for women, get other men supporting you, building you up. Dudes, get your brother circles, your men's groups, um, grunt in the forest, get out and like bang on stuff. That's always really good. Women need to pamper more together. Men need to like be out and go hunting. So um, thank you for joining me on this video walk. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Blessings, blessings, from Bali. Namaste. Namaste.